Welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. Okay, you guys, this is the last of our Easter basket series, and this is what is in my teenager's Easter baskets. Guys, teenagers are hard, especially when you don't want to spend a ton. Like, I'm not looking to do like $100, $500 baskets, but I'm excited. I think the kids are going to really like them. I think I nailed it this year. So, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what I got. And guys, this is also a collab with my girl Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles. So I'm going to have her channel linked below. So when you are done with this video, go show her some love. And if you're coming over from her channel, hey and welcome. I hope you get some great ideas and some inspiration if you're still looking. So let's jump right in, okay? First up, y'all, is my son Alex's basket. This is my 17 year old. All right, first up is the basket. You guys, I got these, I wanna say the first year they were out. These are the hearth in hand Easter baskets. They are so cute, they're metal. I don't know if they've gone up because of inflation, but the year I got them, they were $9.99. And frankly, I was sick of replacing baskets every year. I was never for the cutesy way expensive ones, especially as I kept having more kids and it just seemed like they got broken in storage no matter how hard we tried it just it was a whole whole thing so when I saw these I was like these are perfect they will be great later on although honestly I hope they always need an Easter basket from mom um I hope they're Easter baskets forever quite frankly but I love them and have not had to replace Easter baskets for a few years now and it has been nice all right, so there's the grass for this year. Some years I do the same. Some years I alternate colors. This year it's all just the, the same iridescent grass and it's fine. Okay, there is the candy that you guys saw in the Littles Easter basket. The cotton candy and the Oreos. We got them each a sparkly wild berry peeps. And then we got them the chocolate dipped peeps. These are so good, y'all. This is what we did for their chocolate bunny this year. I'm super excited. They're gonna love them. They've been really into these this year. The Ferrero Rocher. And then everybody got, a, okay, that chick got turned around and I cannot get it to turn back around. He is an obstinate little guy, but Alex will think it's hilarious, so more power to him. So that is what they have as far as treats in their Easter basket. Littles, just so y'all know, we've added to their baskets. They have the same things. They have a Pez, a Bunny, and Peeps as well. All right, all of my kids are really artsy, especially the older kids. They really like sketchbooks and stuff like that. So He's got a really nice sketchbook with a band and a nice um, pencil and eraser set here. It loves My Hero Academia, and so I think he's gonna like those too. Okay, we got him two Pokemon tins. He loves Pokemon, and I think he is just one of those guys that's gonna be like a lifelong love and collection kind of deal so we got him two of them we got each of the kids a poster Lance picked them out I don't know much about the animes and stuff but Lance picked this one out for Alex Emily picked each kid out one of these little magnets she went with us and she picked this one out for Alex Sid and his earbuds I I, I can't but he got two pairs uh, like a standard pair and one of those. And then we got him a cleaning kit for him. Just some necessary hygiene items. You know, they're boys. I'm not necessarily picky about what they put in their hair. It's normally pretty short, even though it's not right now. They'll be getting haircuts soon but they normally keep it pretty short. So we keep their hair stuff pretty simple and pickier about what they put on their bodies and stuff though. And I thought that looked interesting with the activated charcoal. So I got that for them. Some chapstick. 
I did not see any cool guys chapstick. I wish they made stuff, you know, in cooler packaging for guys, especially at an affordable price point. It's just hard to find, unfortunately. But yeah, and a loofah and a water bottle. My kids have great senses of humor and a silly side. And so, you know, we got the infinity blocks and the blue glitter putty and the squishy dinosaurs with the smarty egg, which incidentally, bonus, all of these things double as fidget toys, which is kind of nice for my ASD kids. So, and April is Autism Awareness Month, as we've been pointing out throughout different videos. So, you know, it's kind of nice to sneak a few things into their basket and especially with the teenage boys without it being like overtly like in their face like oh here's something for your autism you know what I mean it's just fun and silly and oh yeah it's gonna be helpful too okay y'all next up is my 14 year old daughter Gracie okay of course there's her basket and her grass her treats her bunny her peeps her oreos her her pez is a Grogu because she's just obsessed with him. And then she got a stuffed dog when we got the Littles. Their Squishmallows, she was in love with it and she didn't have enough money to buy it herself that day. And I said, if I buy him, it's for Easter. So, you know. <laughs> and honestly, you guys, these kind of, these two kind of put her basket over the top. I think it kind of made it a little extra compared, just uh, just a little bit, but she really is kind of an avocado toast, you know, bobo tea kind of girl. And I bought these to give away as gifts and the littles wouldn't stay out of them. And my husband was like, give them to Gracie and get rid of them because they're driving me crazy. So they're in her Easter basket. So yeah, there you go. Okay, some fun girly things. Some fun girly lotion, fun body scrub, little, you know, pedicure kit, some beauty blenders, a fun loofah, a body scrubber, and a really awesome water bottle. I think she's gonna enjoy those. I got her these you know, 14, you know, your schedule gets thrown off, things get weird. So I got her these to try, you know, she may not want to take the same melatonin that her seven and nine year old siblings take. So I got her those to try, a little chicer, a little more fun. And if she likes them, I'll get her the bigger bottle. But yeah, uh, like I said, all three of my teenagers are artsy. So she's got a sketchbook and pencils. She's got My Hero Academia stickers. And like I said before, Emily was with me and Emily insisted she had to have these three things as well. Some acrylic markers, the mini gel pens, and these cute little food erasers. So she's got those as well. That's her poster. Got a little Star Wars blind bag. She's got her little magnet Emily picked out. She's got her cutesy little Easter extras. Her little dinosaur and smarty egg. And she was with me when we got these and this was her favorite one. So she's gonna be really excited to see this guy again. Her infinity block and then pink glitter putty egg. And last up is my oldest. My sweet 19 year old, Ryan. Okay, of course there's his basket and the grass, all of his treats and a little Easter Bunny Pez dispenser. Here's his hygiene items. They're the same as Alex. Um, he has really sensitive skin and the water here has been really great for him. So I was excited to just branch out a teeny bit. I usually buy him Nivea and just the, the clean sensitive skin Nivea. So I was excited to branch out and get him something just a little bit different to try. I'm excited to see how he does with that. And then the chapstick and I got him a gray loofah and the Gatorade 
water bottle as well. We got two magnets that Emily picked out. This was his poster. They actually had a really great halo one and we saw the picture on like the box that held the posters and we searched high and low for it. We even asked them to check in the back and they did not have it. So this was the second runner up, but I think he'll still really like it. We got him an R2D2 remote. Now he has a Harry Potter wand remote too. Uh, so I don't know if he'll put this on his shelf to display or if he'll try to use it, but either way, I think he'll really get a kick out of it. He loves stuff like this. He has two Star Wars blind bags because he just really loves stuff like this. He has a set of Batman Legos that I think he's really going to enjoy. And he also has a Pokemon card set. He has an art set like the other two, a nice sturdy sketchbook and the pens. He has earbuds and a cable and then lasting sets the right one, but he'd been talking about needing a new cable for one of his tablets. So when we got the earbuds, we grabbed that one hoping it's the right one. Um, if not, we'll stick it in the junk drawer and go back and try again. But Lance is pretty sure that's the right one. Of course, he's got his glitter egg, his dinosaur with the smarty egg, and the infinity blocks. Yeah, well, this is everything. I have three older kids in the teenage range and I have two younger kids, seven and nine. I'll make sure to link that video. So if you have younger kids and you're still needing some ideas, you can click there and go see. And like I said, this is a collaboration with the Ingrid Chronicles. And so her channel will be linked for you to check out as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some ideas. So if you're doing any last minute shopping, these were mostly at Five Below and Dollar Tree and a handful of things were at Target. I hope that helps. I hope you guys have a great Easter and I hope you subscribe and come back because we got a full week of content. I can't wait to share with you guys. It's always going on around here. So like this video, subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.